so hello guys so in this video we are going to deploy a simple monstack app into Vercel. so let's get right into it so we are going to use Vercel to deploy and uh, the code will be in this repository so i'll be using this code and then we are going to use express.js we are going to use byte combined with react so let's get right into it so at first i'll clone this repository <coughs> into my local machine so get cloned and paste it so yeah once it's cloned we'll cd into the burn versal folder now hit ls you see nothing so let's first start with our backend so it's going to be make the api so cd into api and now hit npm init dash y so it will just write an empty package.json so I'm gonna install <coughs> express so that will be our first one npm i dash dash save dev this is gonna be a node mon to run our dev server and now <coughs> let's go back and now hit npm so we are going to create a white app so at the, at the latest version i'm just going to give it a name called client i'll select react i'll select javascript to be nice and it's very beginner friendly so i'll just move the client and now hit install yeah so i'll be using visual studio code as my code editor so if i go to port dot dot slash yeah i think it will open yes so in my api folder i just have new index.js and in my package.json i'll give type as module yeah so index.js it's going to be express from express okay so const app is equal to and then app dot get it will be restart send hello world and then app dot listen port okay so it will send a json as of now json will be message hello world yeah so and I'll give it a backend port of 8000. I like to keep my backends running on 8000. So, yeah, and then let's create a dev script. Dev, it's node mon index.js. And now hit start. <coughs> start node index.js. Okay, so everything seems to be perfect as of now. Yeah, so let's go to the terminal to run our backend so i'll hit clear npm run dev so let's see okay server is running on port 8000 so let's go to port 8000 and uh, yeah it's on the home screen so i'll just move it to an api folder to emulate that as our backend so it's going to be slash api slash hello yeah, so it's going to be slash api slash hello. Yeah, so our backend is working. And now if I go to my package.json. Okay, so white dev dash dash p, I'll give it a port of 3000. So, and now if I clear. And now we we'll write npm run dev. Dash dash. Okay, I'll just give it a port. Yeah, so dash p didn't work. So let me go to my port 8000. Oops, 3000. Yeah, our React app is running, 
and this is our backend so we are going to deploy both of these in the same in the same url and uh, it will be deployed in Vercel. so let's get right into it yeah so now i'm going to stop both my servers and i'm going to install course so npm install course so that is very important when you're doing api requests from the back end of front end so that your back end do not uh, import course from course so it's going to be app dot use course and uh, now if i hit npm run dev and uh, if i hit refresh okay so everything seems to be working perfectly <coughs> so yeah and now so now we are going to deploy it to Vercel. so we should create a Vercel dot json file so in so this file will help to redirect all the api routes to this folder to the api folder so yeah let's start writing it so it's going to be so it's a json file so and now it's going to be we writes array yeah it's going to be rewrites and it's going to be an array so array it will have source so you are see, it's going to be a source so source is all the api routes so api and then inside the brackets dot star yeah now destination we don't want that we'll just give slash api yeah so only this much is required and now uh, yeah so let's get right into it so let's go reversal yeah and I'll, I'll actually commit all these codes so stop stop <laughs> it's status get add api get add up back in code and now I get get status so get add plan get get add up status so it's gonna be get add parcel yeah if you are using uh, zshell you can use ggp and that will push it to the default branch now if i refresh the page i see the code yeah, so now we added all the code so now let's yeah everything is pushed to github and now there is a slight chain so we need to even add the build commands so i forgot about that so it's going to be build build command and that will be will be cd into client and uh, npm install and then npm run build so it's oh this is nice and now our output directory is going to be output directory not build it's going to be client client slash yeah and now it's going to be a framework f r a and framework is not none it's it's white so and now rewrites is going to be destination app slash api slash index dot js index dot js so yeah 
and the only thing which I need to check is in the client folder npm run build so where is it going to build let's go to VS Code client yeah in client and then dist okay okay so everything looks fine so we updated this so it's going to be git status then git add dot git commit dash m b dated parcel dot json file and now hit ggp and now now let's go to version no projects yet so let's check whether our project is yeah updated add a new project import from github yeah so this one uh, there is nothing now to deploy you don't need to do anything as of now let's check whether it's building or not okay so it is building everything and it is outputted okay so <laughs> looks like it worked okay so let's visit the website and now it's going to be api slash hello is what our backend yes our backend is working and our front end is working so this is just a small a simple project you can obviously add a their complete backend you can integrate this with uh, mongodb so this is just a simple tutorial on how you can deploy the simple one stack using a react and express js yes. yeah so this is all if you have liked the video like and subscribe and even share this video comment yeah so thank you for watching